edition of Ecole Sage Creek School News. Thanks for joining us. My name is Nadia. And my name, and I'm Weiwei, giving you an initial reportage. We hope you had an awesome winter break and that you're rested and ready for some updates from Ecole Sage Creek School. We'd like to start by sharing a few things that took place before the winter break. Firstly, as many of you know, our school and our school division does a lot of work related to Indigenous education. It starts in kindergarten where our youngest students are learning the Ojibwe language. All of our classes teach various aspects of Indigenous education. Just before the winter break, students in several classes had the opportunity to learn about and participate in a smudge. Earlier in the year, they had harvested the sage right here in our schoolyard. They let it dry and later in December, they learned about smudging and participated in the smudging ceremony. It is great that our students are learning about these meaningful cultural experiences. Congratulations to all the students who participated in the K-5 winter break. You guys were so amazing sharing your singing and musical skills. We are so proud of you. Thanks to Madame Stephanie and Mrs. Stiles for their awesome work. Thanks also to many parents and grandparents who attended. A massive thank you to everyone who donated items for our baby item collection for Winnipeg Harvest. We are lucky to be part of such a generous community. You donated so many items such as baby formula, baby food, infant cereal, diapers, etc. And Winnipeg Harvest ensured to pass them on to people in need. Thank you so much for your generosity. We would like to thank the Leadership Committee who organized a fun spirit week, as well as all the students and staff who participated actively in our various theme days, including Character Day, Twin Day, Sports Day, Ugly Sweater Day, and Pajama Day. It was awesome to see so many students having fun and being engaged while showing awesome school spirit. Now for January news and upcoming events. We are extremely excited that this month we will be participating in Coyote Explorations. Like last year, each grade one to eight student had picked one topic that interests them and will learn and explore that topic during four sessions. The explorations give us an opportunity to have a chance in what we are learning and an opportunity to explore something that interests us. In addition to learning about something cool and interesting, we also get the chance to meet new people as we work with teachers and students from other classes and grades. The options are super interesting, including topics related to the art, cooking, sports, technology, magic, reporting, dance, gardening, building, taking care of ourselves, etc. Thanks to staff for preparing awesome sessions for us. Our basketball season has officially begun. Our grade seven and eight students have been working hard during their practices and are excited to showcase their skills and teamwork to represent ESCS. Good luck this season. Our grade five and six students have been learning all about track and field activities and physical education and are excited about their upcoming track and field days at Max Bell. It will be a great day to be active and have fun. It's time for some PAC news. The PAC will be hosting a January meeting on Wednesday, January 16th at 6.30. They are also offering three fun lunches in January. On January 18th, they are serving Mary Browns and Sweet Impression. On January 25th, they are serving Pita Pit and Sweet Impressions. And on January 31st, they are offering a Menchies and Froyo Day. Yummy! You can also look forward to more information about the PAC Family Learning Nights being held on January 30th and 31st. Mark your calendars for an awesome concert as the grade six to eight students in music, guitar, and band, as well as choir students from grade two to four are presenting a concert in our gym on Wednesday, January 23rd at 6.30 p.m. We encourage you to drop in and hear a great musical evening. Another reminder that if you have a child born in 2014, they will be starting kindergarten next year. Yay! We strongly encourage you to visit our website at RSVP for one of our two kindergarten information evenings being held on Wednesday, February 27th, and Thursday, February 28th. Thanks so much for joining us for the January news. Merci d'avoir pris le temps pour nous écouter. Goodbye! Bye.